This is a walkthrough of Locate Ravis on the Shattered Moon. So in order to go to Shattered Moon, if you don't know, you got to go to the Manus, depending on what world you're on. Go to your Hollow Table. Now, you've been here once before by this point in the game. So you go to the Hollow Table, and it's going to be this over here, Shattered Moon. So we're going to go ahead and travel there. All right, so now we're, we just are landing at Shattered Moon. We're going to skip the cutscenes in order to save you some time here. This is unskippable, by the way. Don't tell Breeze, but he's right about this moon. All right, let's head out of here. Now I'm gonna take a look and see where it wants us to go. Um, fastest way to do this is gonna be uh, going to a meditation point and then to another meditation point, I guess. So we're gonna go back to here, which is the uh, final boss room from last time we were here. All right, I'm also realizing my difficulty was changed from a video I was making earlier. So let's turn this back to uh, Jedi Knight. That's why I like to have it on for these videos. Just a standard difficulty. All right, so we're going to go to meditation. And travel. And we're going to go over to the array channel meditation spot. Okay. Now we need to turn around and go this way. Oh, that's right. I remember this now. There was a door here we couldn't open before, and now we can open it. Now we can go into here. So this is where we got to go to pursue Ravis. Oh, I'm getting outplayed. Damn, I got outplayed by like a basic unit. Maybe Centauri hit the Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Only one way to find out. Double check the map. Alright, pretty straightforward. We're just gonna wrap around here. Okay. I'm assuming we just jump across, which we do. Oh, we wait for that. Okay, and now we jump across. Only way through is the firing chamber. Yeah. I don't love the oh. Idea. Okay, we're supposed to, I didn't realize that thing was gonna move when it shot. Alright. Now let me double check where we're going. Alright, we're gonna go over here. Okay. I'm gonna go here and grab this echo. I think you should probably should too. Found a fabrication facility on the moon. It would save us bringing materials from elsewhere. Let's take a look. It wants us to go up this way. Grab that. And jump across. Double jump. So with that. We have to wait to jump. Alright, this will make a shortcut. And it looks like a return shortcut right there will probably unlock a little bit later. Uh, I charged this and I just wasted it. I want to go on this guy. There we go. That's the easy way to do that. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh my goodness. What the? That's so many. That's actually crazy how many. I mean, a bunch of them are weak as hell, though, but. I'm gonna see if I can get him destroyed by the laser beam. <laughs> I can. That's so fun. <laughs> Okay, that's actually a really fun mechanic. It actually gave me an achievement doing whatever it is I did there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Nothing to interact with, so we're just going to keep moving. Oh, jeez. I guess I'm just going to do the same thing to them. I can't grab this guy. Oh, I don't need force. Okay. Now let's continue. Let me go ahead and sense this echo. Let's see what it is. How long have you laid dormant? Soon. You right, let's open up the map. Again. Okay. Gotta head over here. We go up or down? I'm going assuming down. Yep. Hurry up and let us know when you're on your way back. Um, do we Okay, I'm assuming we drop, jump, dash. Okay, and then climb around the left. Uh Okay, this is crazy. That was easy enough. I guess droids don't get another plan either. I'm right, gonna scan that. I don't think we needed to scan it actually. Let's see where we're going. So now it wants me to go up over here. Then wrap around and then go up. Oh gosh, that was risky to go like that. All right, let's go like this. Oh no, we don't. We got to time that just right. I'm dead. Okay, I should hit LT. Oh, that's so sketchy. Oh, my gosh, that is like RNG luck almost in order to get that. I actually have no idea where I'm going. I guess straight up into the firing chamber. Oh, well, I hit A instead of B. Now I gotta wait. That guy's talking. I'm not hearing a thing he's saying in my head. I'm gonna go ahead and sense this echo while I'm here. For you to make Dagon's vision real once more. All right. Oh, <laughs> I did it backwards. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was ending for some reason. Persistence reveals the path. All right. I guess we go through here. Okay. Now we we'll climb up here. 
feel like if that much metal was rattling every time that thing shot, this this base would not survive very long without like constant maintenance. Oh, elevator. Something tells me we're about to fight a boss. Oh, great. A meditation was great. As I need this, actually. All right. Republic Research Laboratory Research Point. Rest. I scan that. I don't I don't need to, I assume, but I'm doing it. All right. going to interact with this. Okay, this must be where we learn how to use these things. Um, or we don't learn how to use these things. Alright, let's see. We need to go left. We're definitely gonna learn how to use these things, I'm sure. Stay alert. Keep a tight perimeter. Oh, I thought there was a I thought there was a glass wall. He told me to put him down. Really? Oh, man, there are a lot of enemies in this place. It's crazy. Take a look at the map. It wants us to go... Oh, wow, I haven't seen one of these puzzles since... I don't even know when. It's been a long time. We're going to slice it. Another... Oh, I thought it was a meditation point. Um, I guess I'm going to grab this echo. See what it is. We have a containment breach. Get down. I love how that person just said get down so casually. Get down. I could feel how real it felt. Oh, okay, something in that room we need to do, but really fast I want to look up here. Oh, there's a dude over there. One thing that's interesting about this game is there's like no stealth. Stealth is not an element in this game. Usually these games always have stealth. Oh god, it's one of these guys. Oh! Damn, that was such a fast swing. I see if there's somewhere I could knock him off and kill him. Maybe. I don't know that the fall damage from here is going to be enough, though. It's definitely not. Um, and he can't be pushed off, so, yeah, there's no way. All right, I just got to fight him. I was hoping I could cheese him. Wait a minute. No, there actually is somewhere. Wow, that, that's so annoying, actually, the way he does that. If I just bring him over here, I can kill him. Wow. Dude, the auto lock range on that guy is so cancer as hell. Okay. Now, obviously, I didn't need to do it that way, but I really wanted to do it that way. Um, so, I guess I need to go... Not, I mean, this, this thing needs to flip is what needs to happen, I think. Let's go take a look in here again. Then we gotta get the orb to put it in there. Assuming we go up here, because I doubt that guy would be up here if we didn't need to go up here with him to deal with him. Okay, we need to clear that off. We'll take a look at these computers and then we'll backtrack. Oh, can we just jump through this? No. If we could, it'd be insane. We could get like the best XP farm in the entire game. Maybe. Okay, well in that case... Let's go over here, try interacting with that. Nothing to interact with. Nothing to interact there. Nothing to interact here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing here. So then I need to start looking around the ceilings and the floors. We'll look at the map one more time, see if there's anything 
obvious that I'm not seeing here. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to skip ahead till I figure this out because this is not obvious at all. Force pull through the wall. Ah, that's what it is. Force pull through the wall. Throw it. Grab it before it falls. That's actually really cool. Okay. Throw it in. We'll eradicate that. Was it made here? Is this where I go? Okay, if this is where I go, then I want a really quick stop. Let's see what the other thing was about. We found in the stone spires. Um, you've got this one, right, Is there another way to do this? I don't know that there is. So we're going to try to do it like this. I think I'm playing Mario Sunshine. There we go. All right, so that destroyed all of that. I don't think any of this was interactable, though. But this is what it opened up. We can go back into here. Slice this. Is this a shortcut? Oh, we can slice and control damage droid guys. Oh, that's, that's kind of a cool random thing to get. And let me make sure there's nothing else up here that I'm missing. And there's not. All right, let's go on. Wait, was there? Check that. Oh, there wasn't. Okay, let's go on. Now we got to use BD again to pee all over the walls again. Okay, and while I wait for it to burn, let me look through here. Okay, nothing interactive. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't see anything behind us. Let me double check the map. There's something inside this room. Was up to. Is that just oh, just a workbench? It looks so crazy on the map. Or no, this looks like no, this is actually what we interact with. Right, I'm gonna skip this cutscene. Could help us climb the tower. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, okay. Upgrade essentially. Hold left trigger. Hold and release left trigger to grapple and launch away from purchase hold and then okay that's that's interesting all right we're still in pursuit reyes though defeated Dagon, but, but that Dagon. actually is really cool because now there's something i can do in a whole other area of the game that i ran into that i really wanted to see what was at it we'll, we'll deal with that maybe in another video or just not even in a video all right let's hold it okay pretty straightforward <sighs> it works to All right. Where do we want to go? I guess to that. The game kind of led me this way. Without even looking at the map, I'm just going to assume I go over here. Okay, I'm assuming I go to that. Let me check to see if there's nothing else I'm missing. All right, let's go. I go to that one or do I go oh it's gonna launch me oh that's okay well this was just for a scan oh okay grab that looks like it wanted me to go this way oh nope that's definitely not where I go okay wait look at the map before I do this Okay, I'm down there. Hit that balloon. Oh, there's a wall behind it that I can hit onto. Okay, but not the one in front of it. That's very misleading. So this one to the right there does nothing. Well, that's extremely confusing without the map. The wall run to that. I don't know why I would. Try to scan it, I would assume. Wait, what the hell? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, let me look again. 
Oh, I have to wall run first. Because even though I can totally reach it, I just for some reason won't interact with it until I get closer. Because it wants to prioritize the one underneath. Oh, that kills me. Okay, well. I wonder I was wondering if it would kill me. Take a look at the map before I commit to something. Now we can do that to go back down, but I wouldn't want to go back down, so. All right, and over here, something to loot. I'm not going to loot it, though. Why do we go that way? Okay. I've been to that meditation point before. Alright, time for the boss fight. Whoops. Ravis. Let's get the cutscene. Right, I'm gonna walk you through the Ravis boss fight as best I can here. Now, stage one, easiest thing to do here is just stay close. And then block or parry. And then dodge this side on the red swings. If you can, you wanna parry if possible, and it's hard, but. Parry, parry, dodge. Stage one's actually really easy on that. Just stay close, and he does extremely predictable patterns. Except for that one. <laughs> I did the same thing three times in a row. If he does the one where he spins a flail above his head, you're supposed to actually dodge away. Although I failed to do it because I was committed to swinging every time. Alright, now I have the actual hard part. Phase 2. I think the play with this one is don't even swing. You either break his guard by parrying, or you just don't, you don't attack at all. Because he'll just swing right through your swings. He doesn't care. I'm hit. I see you suffer. Break Jedi. Break. Alright, there we go. It's literally this whole boss fight, phase two, is just a parry fight. Like, oh. You need to dodge to the right, ideally, on that swing that I got hit by. Because his reach is so far on it. If you're gonna swing, you just swing one time because that can happen if you try to swing on him multiple times. Alright, that's phase two. Wasn't the best phase two, but it's literally just a parry fight. If you try to do anything other than parry, he'll just hit you no matter what, basically. I mean, you can get a few swings in here and there, but the easiest way is just practice parrying and just parry. Then once the guard's broken, then beat him up. So hopefully it helps you out. That was that boss fight. So if you need help with him, hopefully just watching me do it was able to help you somehow. So there you go. All right. So also confront Dagon at Kobo Observatory. Um, that is the end of that mission. So also grab this when you're done. This is going to be either maximum health or force, I assume. Once it gives me a perk. Oh, new perk. Centered. Okay. Well, either way. That was um, 
the confronting Dagon at the uh, Shattered Moon Observatory. So if you need help with that mission, hopefully this walkthrough was able to help you out.